Doesn't it seem odd that the conservative media seems more concerned with the goings-on in Israel than they do with our own people here because of Hurricane Helene and whatnot? You know, I scroll through conservative media. I, I go to instapundit.com. use my first website of the day because uh, I've been following the Instapundit for decades. And I, I tell you, man, it's like every three to four posts, I mean, it's like every third, to, if not a second post is something to do with Israel. I'd say they probably post five posts of something to do with Israel to one for something to do with Hurricane Helene or something like that. It's just weird to me. If you go to Daily Wire, of course, that's run by Ben Shapiro. It's probably 10 to 1, Israel Post versus what's going on in Appalachia. If you go to uh, National Review, it's the same thing. And I look, I haven't looked at some of these sites. I don't go to Daily Wire. I don't go to National Review. But report, you know, Brett Bite, Breitbart, it's, it's, it's just weird, man. Right now, today, because a debate happened last night, it's predominantly on the debate stuff, but not instant pun. It just, you know, even Powerline is a little bit more, um, you know, probably two to one Israel post versus uh, uh, the post on, you know, what's going on in the hurricane. It's just weird to me, man. I, I this, it's like this bloodlust to go after Iran. I, I don't understand it. I mean, like John McCain, bomb, 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 bomb Iran. I'm like, what did Iran ever do to us? It's weird to me. Oh, they took us hostage. Well, why do they do that? First of all, it's what? 40 years ago, but why do they do that? It's just, I don't get the bloodlust on behalf of Israel. I just don't understand it. No, that doesn't mean you're anti-Israel. It's just the whole thing's stupid. Like, oh, you must not like, no, it's just, it's dumb. But it's just weird, man. You see all these guys posting, um, you know, pray for Israel, and you're like, well, I get that, but we're not going to, just, it's just the whole thing. We're not going to pray for other people too. We all have our own people here, man, that are in, in harm's way right now. As we speak today, they're in harm's way. They have no help. And your first thing is like, what's going on in Israel? It's just it's just weird to me, man. I don't, I mean, I kind of do get it, but I don't want to say why, because we know what's going on in terms of, you know, things that politically, you just we just know what's happening, man. People in Appalachia don't have any money. That's all there is to it, man. People in Appalachia don't have any resources um to donate to politicians and whatnot as such politicians even though they need their votes are going to go to where the money is that's all there is to it and um i, I and there's money in the war machine the war machine it's not just israel it's ukraine but I, I, right now because what's going on in israel everything's focused on israel and you know ukraine is taking a back seat but the war machine is big dude the war machine is big and uh these politicians want to be part of the war machine <laughs> they just want to go into iran guns blazing and the uh, Take out with the Ayatollah. I just don't get it. Why would you want to? Do it? We got our own our own people right now in America, who are are dying, and your focus is seventy five percent on Israel. It's crazy to me. No, oh, but Josh, you must be no, no, I'm not. I know what you're gonna say. No, shouldn't we take care of America first? Americans, especially when those Americans in Appalachia are your people, shouldn't that be the priority? Love your thoughts. God bless.